Hi, it's Cayman Reynolds, and let's talk about frame spacing. So this one is a lot of times up to your personal preference, but there are advantages and disadvantages to everything that you do. We're going to kind of tell you what the pros and cons are in our experiences. So right now, this has 10 frames in it. This is a 10 frame deep box. So I mean, there's a lot of people, 10 frames in a 10 frame box, duh. Well, it actually gets a little bit more complicated than that, but it can make things a lot easier for you when you're extracting. So this is a nine frame spacer that you can get from Kelly's. You can also get eight frames and use those in a 10 frame box. Now, whenever you are drawing out foundation, you need to use 10 frames in a 10 frame box. If you're eight frame box, use eight frames. That is correct V-space, but once they draw these frames all the way out, you can get them to fatten the combs. And when you're doing honey production, this is really advantageous for you because it makes it so much easier to uncap the combs when there's only nine in the box. And we've been experimenting. I actually really liked it this year and I'm thinking of probably doing all of my honey supers next year with eight combs to a box because it makes it so much easier to uncap. You really don't lose any honey production and the advantages of when you reduce your frame counts down is that you have less combs per box, so less investment. Let's say I have a hundred boxes of, that are devoted for honey supers, and then instead of using ten in them, I drop them down to eight. Well, now I have a hundred boxes that I'm getting an extra two frames from. That's two hundred frames. So that means I can do a whole lot more boxes that way, and because the bees will fatten the combs up, I'll still get the same honey yield. I haven't noticed any difference over getting 10 or going down to 8 in my honey yield per box. When you have 8, you're going to have to have a knife that's going to cut them all the way down. Now, one of the disadvantages if you're using a system where you don't need those fat combs, it's going to get in your way. But if you have those fat combs, it's easier to uncap. And then you get all that extra beeswax that they've made as well. So if you're needing beeswax, that's a great and easy way to get it. Now, some people just want to go to nines, and that works really good, too. I'm still not 100% sold on eights, but it's so nice to be able, like I said, if you have 100, which we've got a lot more than that, and you're reducing those down to eight, and you get two extra frames per one, and you have a lot of extra boxes that you can use for more hives. So basically, what we're going to do is reduce this one down to nine, because also, it's not just for honey supers, many beekeepers for, for decades and decades have once they've drawn out, the bees have drawn out all 10 frames, they will reduce them down to nine so you get one extra frame and it makes it a lot easier to pull frames out when you only have nine to a box. So let's yank one of these out of here. And see if you've got hundreds of hives, or even 10 hives, or even two hives, you're getting extra combs. Oh, there's some emerging brood. So now what we're gonna do we just got this spacer right here. And this works just fine for brood. There are some people that will tell you that if you use nine frames in a 10 frame box, you're doing your bees a disservice. I know several people who are getting onto this kick on 11 frames in a 10 frame box is better for your bees. You know, the only thing I've ever noticed is if you've got a great queen and they are clean of mites and disease, they do very well. I don't, I think a lot of times we try to reinvent the wheel. And hey, I don't, if you all know me, you know I like new things. What really bothers me is when people get on these kicks and they're like, you have to. I experiment all the time. I'm always trying to perfect it and make myself better. But we also have to be realistic. And if you give me a good, really good mated queen, and you give me some combs, and you give me a decent nurse bee population, and. I, and I get some good nutrition coming in, or I feed them good nutrition, I'm gonna show you some honey. All right, that's it right there. That is now nine frames in that box. It probably could all shift over a little bit more this way. But that's not gonna hurt the bees whatsoever. Now, I wouldn't probably do this towards winter time because they're not gonna have a chance to, to widen those combs up a little bit, and that could make a little bit of difference it might not if you got a good cluster probably won't it's better to do this in the spring and summer when the bees um, are brooding and all that kind of stuff but 
you don't have to. If you want to keep tin in there, that's fine. But now we can take that frame, shake those bees back in there and give that to a, a split. But think of, it, think of it this way, and this is what we do sometimes. What if we were to go through all of these colonies in this yard and do that to all of our boxes? Just think how many, many frames we have extra. We take one frame of brood and then we start making nukes with them and throw one of our queen cells or one of our mated queens into these things. We'll talk about making a lot of colonies. So you don't have to do this. This is just one way to do it, but you can get these things right here. And they're nice stainless steel and they'll last a long time from Kelly's and most other um, stores. We're gonna leave a link below where you can find some of these things. Thanks for watching our video.